Welcome to Electra Online and now let's say that they give you the odds against to be four-fifths and of course when they say the odds against they really say the odds against winning and in this case they want to know what is the probability of the event occurring and when they say what's the probability of the event occurring they're saying what is the probability of winning so if the odds against are four-fifths is that good is that bad let's go find out so the equation says that odds against is equal to 1 minus the probability of the event occurring divided by the probability of the event occurring and that's what we're looking for so now we can say that 4 fifths is equal to 1 minus the probability of the event occurring divided by the probability of the event occurring and now we're going to cross multiply we're going to multiply the 5 times what's up here the 4 times what's here so we have 4 times the probability of the event occurring is equal to 5 times 1 minus the probability of the event occurring. Now we multiply this through, we get rid of the parentheses. So here we get 4 times the probability of the event occurring is equal to 5 minus 5 times the probability of the event occurring. So now we want to move this to the other side. So we have 4 probability of event occurring and the minus 5 becomes a plus 5 times the probability of the event occurring and I guess I don't need the extra parentheses I can just get rid of it like that equals 5 alright now we combine like terms so we have 9 times the probability of event occurring equals 5 divide, divide both sides by 9 and we get the probability of the event occurring is equal to 5 divided by 9 now when we place that in the decimal let's do that so 5 divided by 9 that would be 0 0.5555 and on forever so this is basically 55.6 percent hmm so if the odds against you are four-fifths or the odds against winning is four-fifths the probability that you will win that the event will occur is more than 50 percent ah again the key is if this number is less than one it's less likely to occur if it's greater than one this is more likely to occur. So if the odds against is less than 1, 450 is less than 1, that means it's less likely for the odds against you to occur. And therefore, it's more likely for the other side, in favor of, to occur. In other words, you're more likely to win if the odds against you are less than 1. Wow, it's kind of confusing, isn't it? The best way to look at it is, is this number bigger or less than 1? If it's less, the other side, the other condition, in this case in favor of, is more likely to occur. If it's bigger than one, then this is more likely to occur. And you can see that when you change it to the probability the event will occur, it's more easily understood. If this is greater than 50%, you're more likely to win. If it's less than 50%, you're less likely to win. And that's why I think they use odds in favor of and odds against, because most people are kind of confused about it. That's how we do that.